Assalamu alaikum alaykum everyone, this is Physics Pen back with another video and this video is also going to be the continuation of the topic we were discussing for last two to three videos. So uh, you can click on the top left corner of the video to get to the links of the previous videos. First of all, let's do the recap of what we have already done in the previous video. We calculated the position vector, instantaneous velocity and acceleration of the particle executing circular motion about a fixed point. We found that the position vector was along the radius having a magnitude equal to the radius of the path the particle following. And then we differentiated the position vector to get velocity which we found having a magnitude of r times omega along the tangent where omega was representing the angular velocity. After that we differentiated the instantaneous velocity too to get the acceleration. But we found that the acceleration was having two parts of it. One was along the direction opposite to the radial unit vector with a magnitude of omega squared r. And the other one was along the tangential unit vector with a magnitude of r times alpha, where alpha was representing the angular acceleration and r is ab as obvious the radius. So now we will look at the types of circular motion. Just like there are uniform and non-uniform linear motion, we have uniform and non-uniform circular motion. In uniform circular motion, the angular velocity of the particle remains constant, which means that there is no angular acceleration. You might remember that the acceleration of the particle executing circular motion has two parts of it. One is along the direction opposite to the radial unit vector and the other one is along the tangent. So if we put the value of angular acceleration, which is zero in this case, into the equation, the value of tangential acceleration will become zero. So the only acceleration we have left is the acceleration in the direction opposite to the radial unit vector, also known as centripetal acceleration, which is essential to keep the particle in circular path. In case of non-uniform circular motion, the angular velocity of the particle change with time, which means that there must exist some angular acceleration. Let's say alpha is the angular acceleration, then the acceleration will not only be in the direction opposite to the radial unit vector but also along the tangent. And that is why the resultant acceleration or the overall acceleration will be as follows. And the direction of the resultant acceleration may be determined by simply calculating the tan value of the angle that it is making with the radius. Let's say phi is the angle it is making with the radius, so tan phi will be equal to the ratio of the acceleration along the tangent to the acceleration along the radius. And now if we assume AR to be the centripetal acceleration and AT to be the tangential acceleration, then phi will be tan inverse of AT over AR. Yeah, uh, that's it and that is how we calculate the angle that it is making with the radius or the tangent depending upon your choice whatever you want you can calculate uh, inshallah see you in the next video and till then bye bye